Hello, test, test, one, two, three. Hello, everyone. It's Jonah, and welcome back to my channel. I haven't been here for so long. I don't even recall how many months since the last video. But I'm coming back with a new excitement this time, especially for data science enthusiasts like yourself. I came across this platform called Data Talks Club on Meetup. Since I was looking for online events to learn more about data science and also to connect with new data scientists, uh, data enthusiasts, people, I was so lucky that I found this group. What interested me at first was the event where they talk about machine learning, um, because currently I'm interested in uh, machine learning, and. I set my direction to learn data science and machine learning this year. So I joined in and browsed through all the past events that they had. I mean, what, where on earth have I been? I haven't known this group before and I feel like I lost so much not knowing about them. So I was so obsessed with the contents and I started to look at uh, everything everywhere on their page. I couldn't stop so I decided to join Slack. Uh, that's when I saw someone talking about a data engineering course. Oh my god, they provide a data engineering course for free and it's just exactly what I need at the right time and it cost nothing. Only your nerve. <laughs> And I didn't even think, I just signed up right away, so here I am. So what is this video about? This video is an introduction to how I found this course and show the data engineering course orientation and why am I doing the, this video series. So firstly, I want to, I mean, I want to journal throughout this uh, data engineering journey and firstly, it's for me as I would like to take notes as part of my learning process. And of course, there will be a part that I don't understand, but I will still be talking about since many things are alien to me in this data science world. So let's, take, let's just take this as a personal journey, as a personal note taking during the next nine weeks. So I will not be covering too much on technical stuff in this data engineering journey. Uh, journal series. I might touch a little technical but only just to make myself understand the basic principle. And then the secondly, this video series for anyone who is interested in the same area and wants to start your journey as well. And hey, if you are on the same part, leave me the link below where I can connect to you. So I would be so happy to see you on your journey and also we can learn from each other. And thirdly, this is a kind of a push to uh, for myself to start making a video like this. Uh, it's a form of a commitment to the course. So here it is. So that's enough for now about myself. Now let's talk about the main content according to the title of this video. And it's a kickoff data engineering soon camp 2023. And it was on Monday, the 16th of January 2023. And there were almost 10,000 people on the live stream and it was 997 to be exact and what content on the live stream is covered on the kickoff date at its name it's a kickoff date just like the first day uh, of any course it is a course orientation where you can get an overview and to uh, to know if the course is right for you and also to learn the resources that you can look into when you encounter any problems during the course. So here are the contents of the live stream. This Zoom camp will be nine weeks long. So, so here are the contents of the live stream. Um, this Zoom camp will be nine weeks long and the syllabus are as follows. So week one is gonna be introduction and prerequisites. So week two is gonna we're gonna do data ingestion, week three data warehouse, and week four we're gonna learn about that uh, analytics engineering. Week five is about batch processing, week six is about streaming, and then after that it's gonna be uh, 
you working on your project and the week the last week which is week nine uh, you're gonna have to review the project from your classmate and also the classmate will review your project and then um, uh, it's evaluated by peer review so the technologies that we will be using in this course are uh, Google Cloud Platform, um, Google Cloud Storage, BigQuery, Terraform, Docker, SQL, Perfect. Uh, Perfect is a pipeline orchestration. Um, I heard that last year they used Airflow, but it's turned out to be... Uh, yeah, they said anyway, I don't know about any anything about this, so... I can just say that um, they said perfect is lighter uh, on your computer to work and also it's it's a little bit faster somehow and then the next technology is DBT which is data transformation and then you're gonna get to learn Spark and Kafka as well so the tools and then for the first week, the tools you should install before starting the course and it should be done in the first week um, are Docker and Docker Compose and then you need Python 3 um, Python will be the main uh, programming language that will be used in this course but also a little bit of Java if you know Java, there's no problem, you can start writing and then the next tool uh, you need to set up is uh, Google Cloud SDK and then another one is Terraform so and the source of data that we will be using is from a uh, New York TLC data website but um, you can download the data set from their github repo just to get the right format to work on so and then um, another thing I will be talking about is resources that um, uh, you should bookmark these following links on your browser and refer to it when you encounter some problems. So there are main GitHub repo of this uh, data engineering Zoom camp, uh, which is here, and the main web page of this data talk, uh, data talks club. Um, you can learn about ongoing events and podcasts and you can also use uh, read a useful articles very very useful I highly recommend it and there is a slack and then you can visit to the, this link and here you can enter the slack if you are here for the first time then join the uh, course data engineering channel there you can ask uh, any question regard the, uh, the this course so we use slack as the main medium for asking questions but there are guidelines when asking questions um, to make discussion in slack more organized you should follow the guidelines that um, are written here on the on their uh, on the github repo page as well so that will be all for uh, uh, introduction to the data engineering zoom camp series of my video so this is a self-paced learning platform the office hour will be every Monday at 6 p.m. Uh, Central European time that means you uh, throughout the week you are gonna have to learn by yourself following the guidelines each week on the github repo and then when you encounter some problems um, or have some questions and you want to get them answered then you can join the live stream every Monday and also you can use Slack to post your questions and please following the guidelines when asking questions on Slack and at the end of the week you should be able to submit your homework and if you're interested in climbing the leaderboard you should do your homework every week um, but you, uh, you don't have to and the main idea is that you can do the project on your own and at the end when you submit your project and if you pass then you get a certificate uh, at the end um, but for fun and keep you motivated I think it's a good idea to keep an eye on the leaderboard and keep yourself going with this self-learning process 
and if you are interested in joining the course this is a perfect time and it's not too late because they extend the first assignment of the first week to be two weeks instead of one week so you have plenty of time and can join right now and there you have it and thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye